Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another Mornings with the Masters, where we devote ourselves to the Lord daily with you. Good morning, you guys. Good if y'all watch you on Instagram, Instagram, if you watch oh on YouTube, my goodness, on YouTube, I always like move my shoulders in the beginning, and that time I got very intense for some reason. I don't know what just happened. In your defense, <laughs> we also do post reels on Instagram. Speaking of, <laughs> why don't we just take a moment to plug? Is that okay? We okay. don't do this very often. Number what one, Mornings with the Masters has an Instagram uh, that's popping. Yeah, we, we love also have a YouTube. Channel that. that's popping, <laughs> and we also really do appreciate it when you guys leave us reviews, Absolutely. either on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. There's no need to do it, but if you feel bored and you want to do that, go ahead. Yeah. But we it do helps this more people find, find the podcast absolutely because yeah. then it ends up in recommended. I just want to give you guys a shout out. <laughs> we are consistently in the top 200 of spiritual spirituality and religion podcasts. Mm -hmm. In the United Crazy. States, which is huge, by the way, because we're just like two little we're people like, sitting, you know, in our house, <laughs> yeah. you know, I lifting up people to the Lord daily. What a master's Anyways, team. We're picking up day four of prayers for a fresh start devotion on the Bible app. There's a link to that in the description if you guys want to follow along with us. And as always, I'm going to read the scripture, then Tori's going to pick up the Devo. Let's do it. The first scripture is Psalms chapter 32, verse 7, and it says this, You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. And the next scripture is Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19. And it says this, For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The devotional is a prayer against fear. And it says this, God... Too often I find myself overwhelmed by circumstances that are beyond my control. Amen. Too often I am easily distracted by things that don't matter. Please forgive me for not consistently placing my trust in you. I know that as I step into a new season, I will face obstacles that make me want to give up. When this happens, give me the faith I need to cling to the truth. That your peace and protection aren't based on my feelings or circumstances, but on your character and faithfulness. Because you are faithful, you will guard me and establish me. You will rescue me from trouble and deliver me from the evil one. You will make a way where there is no way. If you can bring dry bones to life and make a river in the desert, then you can do a new thing in me, regardless of what's going on around me. Nothing is too hard for you. You are a hiding place for me. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with shouts of deliverance. As I look for the ways you are calling me to start fresh, help me to remember your truth. And as I remember your truth, help me to step boldly forward into the plans that you have prepared for me. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go and read the action step for this one. It says this: Visualize something that is currently making you anxious. Take a deep breath in and give that fear to God as you breathe out. And I know that we're all carrying something right now, and that something that we're carrying is typically something that like maybe we're afraid of, or mm -hmm. something that we're afraid to lose, or afraid to walk into. There's typically fear surrounding something. Mm -hmm. And I personally think that the enemy uses fear to distract us, yeah. to pull us away from something. And I kind of have this like almost like a litmus test that as I'm walking forward, if I start to feel the fear creep in mm -hmm. about like what will happen if we start this new project or what yeah. will happen if we try for a second baby, or what will happen if X, Y, Z, if yeah. I start to feel fear creep in in certain areas, I start to remind myself of that verse that we love that God has not given us a spirit of fear, yeah. but a spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. Mm -hmm. And so if I'm, if I am experiencing fear, not the fear of the Lord, but the fear of the world, the fear of what this outcome will be, right. then I know that's not from God. Yeah. And so I start to press deeper in because I can see the enemy is trying to pull me back. Right. And so I Stop press you, in. Yeah. And so I think that this is really powerful for us because typically we experience fears around the things that are most sensitive to us. Yes. You see sure. it so often with people like you, you see it with women who want to be moms and their fear is, will I ever be able to get pregnant? Yeah. And you even see it with what we talked about yesterday, like with people's calling, where they're so afraid that this thing won't work out, or they're afraid to use the talent that God has given them, or the the passion God has placed in their heart, because they're afraid that they'll embarrass themselves, Fear like people, because. 
they're afraid that their stammer will hold them back. Yeah. And then guess what happens? Then they don't pursue the thing that God has for them. Mm -hmm. And so I would just want to quickly encourage you all that we yeah. all have fears. You can see that in the scriptures that we're just reading. Mm -hmm. It's like, do you not see it? I make a pathway through the wilderness. Right. Guess what that means? As you're on your path, you will be walking through a wilderness where you mm -hmm. don't know where you are. You don't know where yeah. north is, right? But God says, I will make a pathway. Yeah. I will create rivers in a dry wasteland that whenever you think things are so dry, just like when Tori and I almost quit YouTube, yeah. this is back in 2020. It was July and August of 2020. Things were so dry. Yeah. We didn't know how we were going to pay rent. We didn't know what we were going to do. Yeah. We we're at our lowest point in our career yeah. and God made a river. Yeah. And it was at the time where we felt the most fear mm -hmm. about encouraging people on the internet, yeah. right? Yeah. That God made a miracle happen. Mm -hmm. And now this is our full-time job. Crazy. And so it's just one of those things that we almost pulled out because of fear. Yeah. Can you imagine what our life would be like then? And I just so want to encourage everyone who's listening that there are things in your life that God is calling you into, mm -hmm. that he's beckoning you to come. Yeah. And there's a fear that's trying to pull you back. Yeah, no, that's so good. And I also just want to encourage y'all to go back through this prayer and recognize how much scripture is inside yeah. of it. Because I think a lot of people don't, they get kind of caught up in like, how do I pray? What do I say, et cetera. And something that's very, very powerful when you are praying is to actually pray scripture. And so if you find a couple different scriptures that are really speaking to you, use those scriptures inside of your prayers, because I don't know, but for me, I just feel like because the truth of God's word is so powerful these prayers that have scripture intertwined, they impact me spiritually in a new way because I am literally speaking life into the prayer. You're speaking life into your fear. You're reminding yourself of truth, even in the midst of questioning. And I think that that's the power of it is like we have been equipped for this battle. We have been equipped to face our fears, to fight our fears with the truth of God's word. If we don't know it, we can't use it. And so I encourage you today to open up the word of God and ask the Lord to reveal certain scriptures to you that are very like um, in tune or really speaking to you about like what you're currently going through. Write them down, print them out, put them on your prayer board or your prayer wall or wherever you go to often on a sticky note on your mirror. And as you continue to see it, then it will just be ingrained in you. It'll be written on your heart. And then as you pray, you will notice that you start praying these scriptures intertwined into your prayers. And it just takes on like a whole new essence. Like it just has like a whole new power to it. Yeah. Um, it, I can't even really put it in the words what it does, but even yeah. like in this prayer for today, mm -hmm. there is mentions of Ezekiel yeah. preaching over the dry bones and yeah. then God literally mm -hmm. lifting those bones up and adding yeah. flesh and, and it's yes. just all the stuff. And so powerful yeah. that if I had not known that story is actually from one of my mm -hmm. first sermons I ever heard as a Christian it. years yeah. and years ago, but like, I wouldn't know that. Mm -hmm. And so it is so cool to see people who've created great resources like this that are actually, mm -hmm. they're, they're full of so much meat there. Yeah. But we yeah. won't even know it's there. It's like almost like having food in the back of the refrigerator. Yeah. You got to move some stuff out of the way to get there. Yeah. I don't know if that analogy made sense. <laughs> you want to praise on uh, out? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for the honor and the privilege that it is that we get to pray. That you welcome us into your throne room, Father. That you have given us your word, living, breathing, and active word, full of truth, full of timeless wisdom, Father. I pray that as we open your word today, that you would reveal scriptures to us that speak directly to the season that we're currently walking in, truths that we can cling to and hold on to and be reminded of when the fear creeps in, Father, that you would equip us with tools to fight back, Father, because we do not want to miss the calling that you have placed on our life. We don't want to retreat in fear. We want to move forward in faith, but we cannot do it without you. 
So we thank you in advance, Father, for this. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen, God. Amen, God. Amen, y'all. Now's that perfect time to break out the worship music, break out the journal, and continue pressing to Lord. Yes, and y'all don't forget that you are God's masterpiece. And don't forget that we love you. We love you guys. I'll be talking to you tomorrow. Good eye, Mike.